the plate, I need that on the day to day. The fresh in a major way, you know we doing major things. Hit me up with that tape of fade, now let me hear what them haters say. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Matt Get The Hands back to you with another video. Let's not waste no time and get right to it. Right here guys, what I'm doing is I'm shaping the top of the hair and we're gonna go ahead and do a low to mid drop fade on the sides. So I'm not really worried about too much on the sides. We're gonna go ahead and just shape up the top as we did right there. And what I did is I'm using my Gamma Ergos with a number four guard and I'm going with the grain to kind of just remove the bulk, kind of see what type of hair pattern is under there. We've done multiple types of haircuts on this client. Um, we, he's had waves, he's had uh, curly hair with a taper, but now he wants something different. And we're gonna go ahead and change his life, man. We're gonna bring him back to life. Right here, I got the first guideline using my Babyliss FA Skeleton Trimmer, the Patty Cuts Edition. And you're gonna see that I'm contouring the, the, the shape of the client's head. So I wanna kinda drop that first guideline. And that's what we're gonna use to create our blend, right? This is a number four. Now I'm going against the grain and I'm I'm, I'm getting rid of more bulk because I want to create a foundation. I want to know what I'm blending into with keeping the shape up top. We're going to go ahead and re-pick it out on the sides and the top, reshape it. Um, with curly hair, you want to be very careful. You don't want to cut it too, too short because whenever it gets wet or you put a curling cream in there, it's going to shrink, guys. And I've learned this along the way. That's not something that I learned right away whenever I started cutting, especially with like waves too, guys. You got to know how to cut with the grain and stuff. But you're going to see right there what I did was I re-picked that, that side out so I can reshape it and get the shape that I want. Um, I have the lever all the way closed whenever I'm freehanding. Um, it cuts closer and it's more precise. So it, whenever I picked this hair out to a fro, it was real condensed in the beginning. You didn't see that because I didn't know if I was gonna record this tutorial or not, but I, I, I was like, look, man, this is gonna be a, a, a dope transformation. So if you don't mind, let's record it. And I had already picked the hair out. So our second guideline, I'm using my wall cordless seniors and I have the lever all the way open. I'm um, going up about half of an inch, guys. I wanna make sure I keep some darkness around the midsection. After I have the lever all the way open, I put it in the middle and then close it. And that's gonna pretty much remove that first, sorry, that second guideline rather. Um, again, contouring the shape of the client's head, making sure we follow that first guideline. We're gonna keep that front of the edge up kind of dark as well. But I think this haircut very uh, complimented this client very much um, and he liked it at the end. So stay tuned through the process. Don't fast forward guys. It, it, it does something for the algorithm whenever you watch the full video and you also give it a thumbs up. So as of right now, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up guys and comment below and tell me what you think about this video. All right, so after, after I went down to my number one guard, now this is a number two. And I'm going against the grain. Again, removing some of that bolt. I'm not trying to raise my blend. I want, I want contrast. I don't want to have light to dark. And I always say this in my videos. I want light, medium, dark. This is a number three guard. Again, removing some bolt. And then we'll jump back down to a one and a half guard. Right here, this is a one and a half, and that's gonna remove anything that the number two left behind. Hello. I'm not I'm not doing too much of uh, scooping outwards or anything like that. I'm making sure that I feed that hair into that guard. And then I jump back down to my number one guard. Yes, yeah, missing a little bit of teeth, but it gets the job done. 
Uh, whatever the one and a half left behind, that's basically just brushing that up. Um, basically just removing that darkness. And then what's going to bring that blend together is your half guard or your 116 card, depending on what system and clipper you're using. Since I'm using my wall seniors, I have the premium guard. So this is your 116 guard. Again, guys, lever all the way open. That's going to see where that blends into the number one. After you have the lever open, you put it in the middle and close as needed. Then you remove that guard, the half guard, and you're going to start with your lever open, which is equivalent to a half. And right there, I just took off the guard. And now I'm just favoring the corners to detail the back of the neck. But notice how I just, I kept that shape all the way towards the back. I didn't, I didn't, you know, create my guideline straight across. I made sure I contoured it and, and kind of dropped it. Hopefully you guys, y'all have checked out the previous videos before this one. Um, I'm again, I'm going to be dropping on Wednesday, Fridays and Saturdays. So stay tuned for those videos, guys. Um, as y'all seen me go cut the homeless, I'm, I'm continuing to do that every Sunday from nine to three. And you'll see that content, guys. I'm trying to get some raw, uncut footage and stories because I feel like their voices need to be heard. And it's just a small gesture of me going out there, taking a couple hours out of my day. Um, and, and blessing them with haircuts and, and the result, the the outcome, their reactions is it's worth it. Is is worth it. Um I, I'm it's not a challenge, guys. I'm not calling anyone out to do it. I really want to influence other influencers and inspire other barbers. Or even if you're not a barber, just go out and do a good deed. Do something for your community. It's a great feeling. It's it's a unexplainable feeling, honestly. Um, if if you feel you're blessed and you're in a good place, it's always good to give back. It's always good to give back. It's just a small gesture. So guys, what you do to one side, you're gonna go ahead and do to the other. I'm gonna let y'all rock out to this side. Now I'm gonna join back up when we start the lineup.
All right, so now I'm using my Babyliss Patty Cut Trimmers. And I'm just using that right side of that corner to shape that C cup. Notice we kept that area dark. And now we're gonna start the edge up. I wanted to slow this down because I, a lot of my comments, you know, on the videos, they said I sped up a lot. So as you could tell, even through the video of me cutting, it's not sped up too fast. Um, and hopefully you understand more of what I'm doing as far as the steps. I got over 300 videos, guys, on my YouTube channel. Tons and tons of education. Check out my videos. Give them a thumbs up. Let's get back in this al algorithm, guys. Like, it, it does so much for the channel if you just click that thumbs up button. Doing that to the same, uh, the other side, rather. Now we're favoring the left corner of that blade. And you can see right after this, I, I did add some colors, some color enhancements. And y'all seen tons and tons of videos of me adding color enhancements. And this is the finished product. Brought my boy back to life. Yo, this is clean. I did use hair fibers and uh, color enhancement with the spray. But guys, all right, so this right here is the before the curling cream. So I had already picked it out, re-picked it out and shaped it again. Now I'm adding some Cantu curling cream and I'm just using my hand and my fingers to kind of scrunch that up to get that natural curl. And you're gonna see that it's just gonna add a different look to it, compress those curls. I don't know, man, I, I, I'm feeling myself when it comes to this cut. Hopefully my client is as well. Thanks for letting me uh, record this tutorial for my, my subscribers. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, you are brand new. I drop videos Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment. And as always, Team Gifted, stay gifted.